day kids, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be teaching you one of the methods in adding and subtracting fractions with different denominators, which is, grid method. The grid method is applicable only for two fractions at a time. This method uses rows and columns to represent the denominators. The product of the rows and columns will represent the new denominator, and the sum and difference of the numerators will be the new numerator. For example, let's add 1 fourth plus 1 third. The denominators are 4 and 3. We need to make 4 columns and 3 rows, or 4 rows and 3 columns depending on your preferences. The result is 12 boxes, which is now your new denominator. This is the same when you multiply the two denominators. For 1 fourth, fill one of the four columns with vertical lines. To represent 1 third, fill the first row with horizontal lines. For the box with both vertical and horizontal, move the horizontal lines to an empty box. Now the boxes with vertical and horizontal lines represent the sum and will become your new numerator. Therefore, the answer is 7 12th. Let's have another example. This time we will be using chips instead of lines to fill in the boxes. Add 1 5th plus 2 thirds. Draw 5 columns and 3 rows. These 15 boxes will be our new denominator. Place the green chips in one column to represent 1 5th. Then fill two of the other rows with red chips to represent two thirds. For those boxes with both green and red chips, move the red chips to empty boxes. Now the boxes with green and red chips will be the sum and our new numerator. Thus, the answer is 13 15th. Next is adding a mixed number. Let's add 1 and 1 half plus 2 and 1 third. For our whole numbers, draw one box for 1 and 1 half and two boxes for 2 and 1 third. Shade them vertically and horizontally. Then, for fractions 1 half and 1 third, make two columns and three rows. It will be the new denominator. Fill in the first column with vertical lines to represent 1 half and one of the three rows with horizontal lines to represent one-third. On a box with both vertical and horizontal lines moves the horizontal lines to an empty box. The boxes with vertical and horizontal lines will be the new numerator. As for the whole number, we have three full shaded boxes in all. As a result, the answer is 3 and 5 sixth. One more example. 2 and 1 half plus 2 and 3 fifths. Again, draw two boxes for 2 and 1 half, and another two boxes for 2 and 3 fifths. Shade them with the colors green and red. Next, for fractions, 1 half and 3 fifths, make two columns and five rows. The product of the rows and columns will represent the new denominator. Place the green chips on the first column to represent one half. Then fill three of the rows with red chips to represent three fifths. For boxes with both green and red chips, move the red chips to empty boxes. Since there is still one box with green and red chips, let's make another two columns and five rows and move over the remaining chip. Now, as you can see, the first box of a fraction is all filled with green and red chips. Therefore, it is now considered as a whole while the other box is our fraction. As a result, the answer is 5 and 1 tenth. Now let's proceed to the subtraction of fractions. 3 fourths minus 2 fifths. The denominators are 4 and 5. Make four columns and five rows for the denominator. For three fourths, fill three of the four columns with vertical lines. To represent two fifths, fill the first two rows with horizontal lines. For boxes with only horizontal lines, 
Move the horizontal lines on boxes with vertical lines. Now the boxes with only vertical lines will be the difference in the numerator. Therefore the answer is 7 20th. This time let's subtract mixed numbers using the grid method. 3 and 1 half minus 2 and 1 fourth. For a whole numbers, draw 3 whole boxes for 3 and 1 half and 2 whole boxes for 2 and 1 fourth. Shade them with the color blue and pink horizontal lines. Next, for fractions 1 half and 1 third, make 2 columns and 4 rows. Fill in the first column with blue to represent 1 half, and one of the 4 rows with horizontal lines to represent 1 fourth. For a box with only horizontal lines, move the horizontal lines on a blue box. Now, the remaining blue boxes will be the difference and our new numerator. It can also be simplified as 1 fourth. As for a whole number, 3 take away 2, the answer is 1. As a result, the answer is 1 and 1 fourth. There you have it, I hope you have learned something today. If you like our discussion, click like and subscribe. Thank you, and see you again next time.